In this video, we're going to install a standoff. This is a standoff. The standoff I like to use are 15 millimeter by three millimeter thread nylon standoffs. It means that it's 15 millimeters high and the thread on the inside here is three millimeters. Here we've got some little three millimeter screws and the head on the screws, this is called a Phillips number two sized head and it's a pan head screw. To install it, these are three millimeter bolts. It's a pan head bolt with a Phillips head driver and the shaft of the bolt is six millimeters long. So I would call this an M3 six millimeter pan head bolt. When you put the bolt through the hole that you've drilled earlier, you'll find the standoff will support nicely. Good, good, good. Now I just need another couple more. When I'm installing these standoffs, I like to put down four if it's going to be freestanding like this. If you've got the sizes correct, you'll find that the standoffs will match nicely on these holes. If you don't have access to this mounting board, you can just get a piece of cardboard or timber or something and drill matching holes. The way you would do that is put a mark through the hole onto the board underneath and drill both holes together. Once you've got your strip board with your standoffs on your mounting board, it'll look like this. Once you've got your strip board with your standoffs on your mounting board, this is a standard size I use for all sorts of things. Here is the little power supply and you'll see the holes all line up. If you want to upgrade a module, say you want to change out your linear regulator power supply to a switch mode power supply, you can do so just by changing this module. And because the mounting holes match between your modules, it'll be very easy to upgrade or fix.